So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Videos. So in this video, I will talk about Amrita Counseling 2021 and as you all know, the round 3 is done now. So what, uh, what you need to do next that I will talk in this video, particularly I will talk about the sliding, whether you will able to uh, do any type of sliding or not, uh, what about the payment, who need to pay, who don't need to uh, pay. I will also talk about the refund policy and uh, I will also talk about the pos possibilities now, what you can expect if you haven't got any type of seat or if you have got what you can expect if there is some extra round and i will also talk about the reason for very low cut off this year so if you are first to my channel please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get the complete information about amrita counseling and other counseling other entrance exam including j mains and j advance also in this channel only so please try to subscribe and so one more important information that is if you need any type of counseling guidance whether it is j or any other state counseling that you will do this year you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number so that i will provide you the counseling guidance and you will get the best out of your rank in each counseling that you will do this year and not only only that after that I will also discuss with you everything so that you can choose best college among all those options that you will have this year because once you get into the wrong college you might regret later so it is very advisable to take the help of any experienced person so that you get into the right college that is possible for you don't have any experienced person try to contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number uh, once you register with me then I will guide you for everything till your final admission of this year is done so let's start this video so here is amrita what to do next as as you are round three is done now here is the first thing who got seat in earlier round and did sliding suppose if you have got in a seat in first round and did sliding or you got seat in second round and you did sliding by paying one leg so what you can do now so you have to pay the remaining amount before 17th of the september so that your seat will be with you once you not pay you will not be considered for the extra round if it takes place uh, as well as your seat will be lost so it is very advisable to pay the fee then only you will have the chance to get into the extra round if it happens later so that you can maximize your chances so next question is the student who got seat uh, for the first time in third round that is third allotment so they also need to accept the seat before 14 and by paying one lakh and the remaining amount uh, those students have to pay before 17 and one more important information I, I missed to provide for the student who got seat in earlier round that is you have to accept the seat before 14 then only you will able to pay the fee till 17th of the September once you miss the chance to accept the seat you might lose your seat and this we don't get any type of seat till now so you don't need to do anything just wait and once the extended round happen you might change your preference also you and need to do it very carefully that's where the experience yeah, comes because yeah. many students will lose their hope and they will out of the counseling they will not do the counseling but if extended round happen you might get the seat at higher rank also so it is very advisable to take the help of any experienced person so that you can get the best out of your rank in the extended round if it happens because there is possibility of extended round you can see in the official website also it is mentioned that if seat is available they will conduct any extra round also after 20th of the September so it is very advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me anytime so that I will provide you all the thing what you need to do and not only Amrita Council and not only Amrita counseling after this I will guide you for other counseling also including J main Chosa counseling so that you can choose the best college for you this year so next is what about the sliding so as you can see in the in the official website as of now you there will be sliding option only within the campus that, is, that means if you have got Amrita Puri you can slide in that campus for better branch you can't go uh, to Coimbatore campus or Bangalore campus similarly for other campus also so as of now but I think as the J result is not published yet so after the publication of J result many student will left the seat and as the date of the final payment is 17th so before that every student have to pay the fee otherwise those seat will be considered for the next round if it takes place so i think uh, they will allow the campus sliding also but as of now there is only only branch sliding as possible not the campus sliding so next is the most important question decision making what to choose and what not to choose this question is very important for all the student because it need detailed discussion because every student have so many so many options nowadays they have the je option amrita option vit option manipal option and all type of college they have what what to choose and what not to choose this is very important because this is about your career and if you don't have experience you might take the wrong decision and once you get into the wrong college you might regret later in four years of your college and later in your career also so it is very advisable to take the help of any experienced person if you don't have you can contact me anytime so that I can discuss everything you can contact me through Instagram or whatsapp number but don't use insta and whatsapp to just ask with
whether I should go there or uh, go here because it need detailed discussion and it takes so much time so that is possible only once you register with me then I will guide you for everything so please try to contact me if you need that type of thing only because otherwise a student asks in the comment section what is good Bangalore CSC or VIT or, Chennai, or this type of question need detailed discussion I, I don't know what uh, what is your expectation so what is your economic background and what are the options you have so I how so how I can tell you what is good and what is bad for you because it depends on a student to a student also so it is possible only when you contact me separately then I can discuss with you everything okay. knowing your status also so try to contact me if you need the counseling guidance then only so next is who can participate if any extra round happens so as of as of my experience I can tell you the student who didn't get any type of seat they will able to participate and the student who have already paid all the fee because if you don't pay that means you are not interested interested in the counseling process and you will be out of the counseling process so this type of uh, eligibility will be there and why cutoff is very low so there is two reason for this question that is first is they have already sold so many seed before the counseling itself through management quota as you also know many student got the offer from uh, the Africa authority and also the second reason is J result J result hasn't been announced yet so I know huge number of students who have just blocked the seat uh, because of the backup because of the backup option once they get the result of uh, J they will left the seat of Amrita it so is if there is extended yeah. round, you might see increase in the cutoff but as of now these, these are the two reason that is the most important reason for the low cutoff of this year Amrita counseling so next is what about the refund so you can get the refund as of now uh, Amrita is following the UGC guidelines that means up uh, to 31st of September you will get the 100% refund no matter if you pay one or, or full or fee whatever is applied to you you will get the full refund and, and you can apply for the refund from today itself and you will get the refund only after 17th of the September in your original payment method so, so this is all about the what to do next after the third round I have, I have provided all the information so hope you find this video very useful so please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update in future also and if you need counseling guidance you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number but if you need then only because for that you have to register with me thanks